Good evening, children of nine, and welcome to Beyond the How with Matt Wolfeather, episode seven, if I'm correct. So, I haven't been recording for a while, uh, let's see, uh, about one half week now. I've been uh, quite sick, and I've been in a bad uh, spot for a few days. Uh, but I'm back, and we will be recording some, and even more than this episode. I will try to record at least two episodes. But today, uh, last time we went through to the Nether. We went to a Nether fortress and all, and we got ourselves blaze rods. So that means that we can create a broom stand. And I've been doing some work around the base to create a spot where we can put down our uh, brewing stand. I'm not going to fully automate it because I don't have the resources for that yet. Uh, on the later stage, we might. Um, how to automate most of all, all the things that we have, but not now. Because I really like the rustic feeling of this place. Uh, I will show you around a bit and let and show you what I've done. We will do the broom stand part and um, I will talk a bit about uh, things that have been going on in the last uh, one half weeks. So, let's go to the first person view, uh, third person, sorry, and let's put on some gear. We have to start creating a new mega pick because, as you can see, I don't have that pick anymore. My normal working pick is gone, so I already had an efficiency four pick. I've got a normal pick here, sharpness, uh, so, uh, fortune three, and unbreaking three. And I want to combine it all to create a beautiful pick again. So, let get right. Okay, that was derpy. So let's get some Lapis Lazuli. Uh, I've already been enchanting a bit so that I could get Efficiency 4 from uh, this pick. Now we have two picks with Efficiency 4. So let's combine them because I, I really need this pick, otherwise we can do work. And let's go over here. Ah, I love the silence. Efficiency 5, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3, it's back. Oh yeah, I have the other, uh, the Silk Touch one, I always carry with me. With Death Strider 3, because, you know, pigs need to uh, be able to breathe as well. And, yeah, that's... All right, okay. Um, I've been building a bit. As you can see, there's some building there, 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 and up here. This one is not finished at all. It's just a staircase up on the mountain. And I've been terraforming a bit here. It was Almost all of this was gravel. I've taken it out, and I'm going to do a bit more here. And I don't know what kind of buildings I'm going to place here, but there are going to be some buildings here. And uh, just to beautify the, the whole place. And uh, that way I'm going to do the same. But first, I'm going to start doing this side. Um, I've been thinking of putting a kind of mage tower here, but I don't think that fits with the dwarf theme. So we're not going to do that. Let's go to the other side. Okay. I uh, decided to go up here and into the mountain as well, but then from this side. And I needed space for my chickens and my pigs, so I've put them in here. See? Not too big, not too small, just big enough for everything. Um, I'll show you this later. Let's go down. I've created a small uh, mushroom farm in here. Um, I hope it's gonna work. Uh, the light level is below 12, so it should work uh, when it's closed, but it takes quite a while before it starts growing, so let's hope it'll work. I have done some work on this waterfall here and the water stream, and I will show you that downstairs because I've done more. So, uh, the path towards the nether portal. I have uh, rerouted it, as you can see. I've done some work here, good ritual. I uh, decided to, because I really like this ridge over here, of the, of the, the weird natural bridge over here, I decided to recreate something like that here that I've sculpted, sculpted but I, I don't like it that much, but it's okay for now. And there are stairs that are going down here. And stairs that are going up and down this side. So, I created a uh, small water here, small pond. And uh, I've done the same, uh, about a tier or two above it. 
there was water inside in the cave there, so I decided to break down the wall so it can flow into this. The, I, create, I made the waterfall a bit bigger so it can go in there. And now we have a small yeah, stream with some ponds uh, on too because yeah, it looks nice and it is nice to see as well. So let's start with this here. Okay, we have quite a lot of uh, villages uh, downstairs and we don't have a village at least that I know of that very close. So we're going to create our own village right here. It's not going to be in the style of the normal village, but you will see that in the next episode, because next episode I will work on this village. I'm just letting you know what the plans are. So we're going to put a village here with a road, a few roads, a few buildings in the mountain over there, maybe over there and over there. The water, I will, I will keep the water. I've closed, as you can see over there by the dirt block, uh, the water uh, source block that was uh, creating a waterfall that was too laggy and we already have this here so that's enough and uh, yeah we're gonna make a cool village here and we're gonna put some plants here and uh, bone mew it maybe a tree etc 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 but the main attraction for today is going to be the brewing stand area As I said I'm not gonna automate it so I have uh, dog everything out of the mountain here and I already did some work but not too much uh, let's see do we have a few here yeah we have a few here we are on the other side of the mountain of course and I broke through it and I created a well, building hanging or on the mountain and I like that a lot so we have quite a lot of space here I have created a uh, some water over there that flows down here made a tube you can call it a tube, I think, and that, I, I like it. I really like it. It looks pretty cool, and uh, I had a room anyway, so that's what I decided to do. So on to uh, furbishing, or furnishing, whatever you want to call it, this place. So we got our blaze rod. Uh, okay, let's see. Boom, brewing stand. Already had a few there. But I, I want to show you how to create one on camera. As you can see, we have quite some resources in here. Um, I actually don't really know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm just going to uh, do this on the fly. And we can see, uh, see if we can create something cool. If you guys have um, ideas afterwards, just tell me. You, you, you might inspire me to do something uh, extra, something cool. So what I most of the time like is I use stairs and I like quartz in this part and uh, half slabs. And if I'm right, I should have some half slabs somewhere. Only 12, but we got some blocks. And I like to make a countertop like this. Gives a bit of a uh, laboratory uh, feeling and yeah, I like that a lot. So when I do this and I do that because otherwise you can't uh, put the block there very easily. Yeah. Boom. Five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get rid of this one here. Okay. So we got our countertops. And this means we could put on the brewing stands. So let's do that. I think one here would be nice. One here, 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 and there. Yeah, I like that. And one we're going to keep in our inventory because we might do something else with that some cauldrons maybe uh, in this part we have a cauldron instead of uh, the sink let's put some water in it let's get some more water and I won't be able to finish this whole thing now I think but we might well, we might we might let's put one here too one cauldron boom some water let's get some more water so uh, I haven't been recording for uh, well I uh, I still have the flu and it doesn't seem to go away for now but uh, it became a bit worse with headaches and uh, a lot of mucus and the whole shebang 
and I didn't feel like recording because of that, uh, partially because of that. And there were a few setbacks that uh, really, uh, yeah, put my spirit down, as it were. Uh, my car, uh, as I said before, broke down again. Uh, the key wouldn't uh, start the car anymore. So, yeah, that kind of, uh, kind of, that really, really annoyed me a lot. And that, uh, well, put my spirit down uh, quite a bit. So, that wasn't real fun. It wasn't, that was really bad. It was a bad moment there. And then uh, there was a problem, apparently, uh, in uh, the Netherlands. You get your... Uh, you, you pay your energy every month and they have taken a monthly uh, uh, amount of money sorry I couldn't get the word um, and that they they guess how much you will use on the past that or the past use that you have had so if you have used let's say uh, 75 kilowatt of energy they will estimate that the year after that you will do the same. So, if you use uh, a lot in one year, you will pay more, uh, a monthly uh, fee will be higher because you have been using it for a, l a lot more. And in the end, if you use less, they will give back uh, the money that they guessed would, be, would have been more. So, what happened was that we suddenly, uh, we, we live with, Two people in this house, me and my girlfriend, so my girlfriend and I, and uh, we were, according to uh, the the yearly, um, yeah, <clears throat> the yearly check or whatever, the yearly paper that says, hey, that's how much you've used this year, we were using for uh, six people. So that didn't make any sense at all. But we realized the year before we put in a boiler uh, because uh, the old one broke down and the boiler was put in uh, by the uh, an installation company from the company that gives us uh, energy. But they're not the same. They are the same company, but they aren't. It's really, really annoying. They have the same name. It's like uh, one that's called Eneco. That's the one that gives you the energy. And then you have Staden that gives you the gas. But it was actually also in ECO uh, before, and it's really, really, it, it's really confusing. But okay, they all have uh, different names, and in the end, they're the same company, but they don't work together that well. So, okay, to go back to the story, uh, the boiler was using far too much. Uh, that's what we thought, and there was a uh, they, they sent a mechanic who uh, take took a look at the, the boiler, and uh, yeah. They, uh, the guys who installed it, they have to, uh, th there was a clock on it, they had put the wrong settings on it. So instead of w warming up the boiler only at night, it was warming it up 24-7 for one year. So that was really expensive because of that. And they have kind of, yeah, they, the guy who came here admitted it's the uh, wrongdoing of the company, not us. And we are now, uh, we have filed a complaint, and we are waiting now to see if they're going to lower our monthly fee, because it went up about two times, and we have to pay about seven, uh, 600 somewhat extra euros, because they say we have used far, far too much, which wasn't our fault. So now they... Uh, there's a complaint with the installation company. The installation company should be sending a uh, letter or a email to the other company to make sure that we get a new, uh, uh, more accurate guess, as it were, and not pay the 600 euros extra, and the monthly fee would be reduced, like, majorly. But that will take some time, and there might be some... Uh, more yeah some problems with it and everything but okay that kind of stressed me out as well and uh, being uh, depressed and with all the small things that i um have to endure are a lot heavier than normal so that's why i was down out for a bit and uh, well i'm kind of back now um i said i'm still sick 
Uh, as you can hear in my voice, my voice always raspy, but now it's extremely raspy. And uh, yeah. So, uh, as I said, I'm going to record a few episodes and see where it goes. I want to thank uh, the guys, uh, the people that have been uh, watching me uh, regularly now. Because I've noticed, uh, because I just started, of course. But there is a uh, huge uh, increase in views in the last one last week, as it were. And yeah, that's that's freaking awesome. Thanks thanks a lot for that. I uh, did not expect we'd be go, going that fast, especially because I'm not promoting it for that much either. So that was, yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. That's really awesome. Um, because I didn't think it w I would be able to uh, get people watching this anyway. So that's pretty cool. Um, the last thing I want to do now is get some saplings, some bone meal. And we're going to make this a little more pretty. Because let's be honest, it's quite empty. It's only buildings and a bit of water. So we have to uh, create something more beautiful something more appealing to the eye let's see like that's that's enough uh, we're gonna put some oak maybe a big spruce so I had a vision where I imagined that there would be a oak right here yeah exactly like that I want some grass some flowers it's not like the dwarf is going to uh, keep the garden completely uh, trimmed and everything. That's not the dwarf's idea. He's more like, hmm, I need this space. And then he cuts it all out, you know? That's, that's more in my vision of a dwarf. Let's see, is it possible? Do I have just enough room? No, I don't have the room for that. But we can facilitate that by putting some blocks there. No, I don't f it's okay. Like that, boom. See, the, the, this, these small things do look a lot better when doing this. Oh, of course, Mr. Creeper. Thank you for interrupting me. Let me guess, is there one behind me? One shot. So, uh, okay, let's see. We want a big tree here. Oh, guys, sorry for the lag. I know what it is. Lately, my uh, PC decides to uh, lag out extremely hard, so... Yeah, that's nice. Really big tree. Put some bone meal here. Maybe a tree here. Small one. No, I like that. Uh, that. That's pretty nice. Let's get rid of some snow. Nah, the snow can stay. That does give her more uh, detailed part. The detailed uh, vision. So let's see. Let's get it here. A little bit here. Maybe a oak, small oak tree here. I really like this. Uh, it, it's starting to look a lot better, in my opinion. Let's see where are we. Yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. I really like that. See from this side. Yeah, it, it brings it more to life. Uh, to be honest, uh, th th I really like that. That that's pretty cool. We need a massive tree here, that's for sure. Let's see if, if it's, yeah. Yeah, that looks a lot better. So, boom, you. I'm glad I have the skeleton farm uh, downstairs because uh, it's almost like infinite bone mew. And that's, yeah, that's nice to have, of course. Let's see. I planned this out before. I really want this to put a tree right here. Because uh, even if it's man-made, you can see it's man-made. It does give a uh, gives it a little bit more detail, and uh, it's not like I'm the detail guy or anything. But it's nice to have a little bit of detail. Because let's be honest, uh, Minecraft are blocks, and uh, you need some way to put in detail. Otherwise, it will be so flat. And uh, I used to be uh, the guy that made everything real flat but the last let's say year i've been playing it for three and a half years uh, i've started to uh, do th more detailed things more of this and more uh, paying attention to how it looks let's see 
yeah, it's working. Cool. I didn't know if it would work. Would work, so it worked. Well, it's starting to look quite nice. Um, yeah. So, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, I'm glad you're still there. If you have any, uh, if you liked it, please uh, push the thumbs up button. And if you uh, want to leave a comment about uh, irritating cars, irritating energy companies, or maybe about suggestions how to do with the village, or maybe your suggestions about the brewing uh, room, then uh, please leave a comment down below. And if you would like to share, it will help me out tremendously. Share enough night. I will see you next time.